Hello and welcome to my channel. Now, if you're into photography like myself, disclaimer, I'm not a professional photographer. You might have a camera like this from Sea Life, which this one is a Micro 3.0, or you could even have the Sports Diver. Or even might have a, an action camera GoPro like myself. Now, obviously, over time, you probably go deeper and then we lose the light source. So therefore, you need some form of light. Now, I personally bought from Sea Life, again, um, one of these Sea Dragons, if you don't know already. They're detachable, you've got additional arms, you can attach to make them longer. And of course, with this, you need a tray. Now, many years ago, uh, Sea Life came up with this tray, which is just a straight one, and you've got your attachments that just clips on. You can have one light, unlike myself, I've got two with additional attachment, and again, you can use the flex. And of course, you attach your camera, Sea Life, which is a screw type. So that, as I said, you can get adapter from Sea Life for your GoPro waterproof casing, and then you just position your lights wherever you want. Now, when I used to take photos of this, I always find it a bit awkward because there always seemed to be a black spot where I can actually manipulate the arms to get how to move one or another or move back. So I think over time, Sea Life uh, realized this. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me. So they decided to make this new. Um, Flex Connect Ultra Dual Tray. Now you can see it's um, it's like a boomerang. And so you can see the picture back. It's for the sports diver as well. So the same. The only difference is, as I said, it's a boomerang shape. You can still put your flexi arms here. You've got your screws for your camera, different positions, and also so you can screw in your attachment. For example, like example, um, your Lens caddy. Same as the other tray. Screw it on. Excuse me. Screw it on. And this you can exactly with the other tray, you can move it at any position you want. So tighten it up and then you attach the flexi arms. Sea Dragon lights, exactly the same as the previous one. Attach one now. Attach one now. So there you are. So the thing, probably first thing you probably notice now, now the camera is in front of the arms instead of sort of parallel or next to the lights. So my understanding is the reason for this is to reduce uh, back scatter. Now the lens, the lights can be positioned here. I've got another cap. So yes, you can move the arms to get in front, or you might find the position that you need to change it. So this can turn it around, obviously tighten. And now the lights are in front. Again, good position, good, good grip. As I say, so now your lights are in front, so you put them against the subjects probably a bit further away. So there you are, there you have it. I personally think I'm gonna have it the other way. As I said, not tested this before in the water, so I'll find out. But what's been described is meant to help to reduce bat scatter. The lights are behind, so reduce some more shadow, and hopefully they should improve the quality of your photo. Something else I've noticed um, with this tray, it can actually put it as standing up, as you can see in this, in this video. Compare the other one, the other one used to sort of fall forward. So that's pretty handy. Just get a little of a zoom in. That's it. Same sort of make of the previous um, tray, but this time it's a boomerang style. Okay, so that's an introduction of this new product I've bought from Sea Life, um, the Flex Connect Ultra Jewel Tray. So I'll put it up close to the camera so you can see the actual um, dimensions for this. If you don't have a Sea Life camera, it might be suitable for your camera. Okay, and so there's a picture at the back that just shows you it's ideal for a sports diver as well. 
Right, okay guys, I hope you like this video. I hope you found it useful. Uh, you might be considering a tray if you've got a Sea Life camera and you want a new up-to-date bit of kit. <laughs> so, um, any questions or comments, please put down below. Um, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.